Cora went to Nigeria for our friend's wedding, five months pregnant, and slept with this woman's fiance. So she was sleeping around while pregnant with my child, and I saw the text messages that they took from his phone. And here, and here they are. I removed names to protect the people that told me about this. Seems like you've improved your skills. Cor, did you just insult me? Abibu, whatever. Um, it feels like you were reaching my womb. Okay. It felt like hopes I didn't tamper with Justin's unborn baby, Athena. Nah, the baby. Where'd that other one go? So I was upset because I found out that my ex-wife had been sleeping around while pregnant with our daughter, which is very risky business, which, you know, like, like you get an STD or something while you're pregnant. That's a big deal. Um, not only that. Who asked you? This guy. This is the face of, of a club chaser. Because we've all forgotten that him and Cora will be the, the divorced since a long time ago. This Justin Dean is a club chaser. I don't understand. When Cora Biggie came out and said she was attacked with acid while she was in the UK, you just came out, oh, she's famous. I need to take my own share of the film. Uh, Cora Biggie's fan and Justin Dean's fan. Please don't come for me. Because you need to talk about this, your faves. They are doing the most, especially this uh, ex-husband. He is doing the most. That was how he came out and he said Cora Biggie, uh, the acid attack, she, she, uh, it, it, it was a hoax. That it was planned. She, yeah, she was not attacked. She paid somebody to do it to her. The acid attack was a hoax. Who asked you? That's just what I want to know. Who asked you? Waiting concern you. Waiting concern us. With the internet in us, there were those spectators watching what's happening. Waiting concern us. I think this guy is, is obsessed with this lady. Because he see, and this man sees that he's getting fame for this particular lady. That's why he's continuing to ride in on a tail coat. Any little thing, Kurabidi, Kurabidi, Kurabidi. Now you marry her, I've been actually married. We can't uh, be married. They've been divorced for it's two years now or three years. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And the reason why they divorced was according to how, I don't know, that he cheated. She even came with receipts. She came with receipts and she showed the text and everything that was exchanging with this particular lady. Why he went on vacation? Then he did not come outside though. He did not say anything there, no. Now he's coming out and saying she cheated while she was pregnant with her last child. She cheated with her friend's fiance when she went to a wedding in Nigeria. Who asked you? When they were bringing receipts about your own cheating, why didn't you come out and say, oh, she also cheated? My anger with people that cheat is that they suspect that they their spouse or their significant other are doing the exact same thing that they are doing. Now, it's time for you to take your L and go and sit down, JJ, and try to build your life back. You are coming after this woman. You want to defame her. I only seen to a voice note or recording of him speaking to somebody and asking the person to blackmail his ex corrupted. Asking that person to uh, tell her that she has her nudes and she's going to leak it to the public if she doesn't comply. That she, that he wants to get full custody of the children. This is a devil. This is the face of a useless man. This particular guy is a cloud chaser. He doesn't want to let go of the fame that, that he's gaining from, uh, from Kurabidi. And he also wants to destroy her life. He cannot destroy her life. Because she is who she is. Because she's wearing skimpy, skimpy and everything. People will believe her, and people will believe in her uh, now that she's cheating because she used to wear skimpy things and she used to do any yeah. To me, oh, that is just a nature. And there are people like her that don't just care. They don't think that body is something that should be hidden. Do you, boo-boo? Do you? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. Can't you just quietly go, go into the shadows where you belong? You're even dating somebody. This guy is already dating somebody which I heard. 
from the grapevine that they've broken up. The reason is because it was toxic to her in the relationship. And people that are supporting him, they will not hear now that another woman that is not Cora has said the man is toxic. They are still supporting him. The woman is said this. The woman is said that. We are not saying the woman is not a this. The woman is not a that. But the guy is also toxic too. They also have force in this particular relationship or the particular relationship that they had before. But the man too, you are not seeing his own fault. Why is it now you want to start spilling the tea? Why didn't you spill the tea then when your own came out? It's now that you want to start talking. It's because he has nothing to say. Even if someone brought a text and said she did this, she did that. Why are you bringing it out now? When uh, 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 TMZ is carrying a story, all the blogs are carrying a story, you want to be relevant, you want to read. And trust Cora Abedi. She came out and she gave her two cents. Here's our learning walk. CNN, they learn cloud chasing from Mr. Cora Abedi. Now, I had an accident. TMZ carried it. He couldn't bring text message from two years ago. Please, my lovers, please be wise. Please, let the, I need to look down for you guys. Please be wiser than the normal gullible people. Please, 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 please. Mr. Korobili is a desperado. When I had Athena, the whole block was hurried. Oh, congratulations. Now, then, that there, Mr. Korobili won divorce. He cannot stand attention that is not on him. He is a, a Beyonce, the learn work for Mr. Korobili. We all say they learn what we could not understand what really happened because this is two years down the line. Two years and I'm still talking because the only way Mr. Koralbidi can stay relevant is to call Koralbidi's name and defend Koralbidi. Athena, my precious queen, if you ever see this video, my particular is I'm alive or dead. By God's grace, I'll be alive. Your mother was virtuous. She held you in her stomach. She birthed you in the water. She was virtuous to the very end. The beauty of your life inside of her made her glow. She never touched anything. The only person she touched was your Ashabo daddy, Mr. Korobi, who gave her my daughter spell up like water never my queen. Please tag your African causes for translation. If you ever watch this video, Athena, I love you so much. You are my life. You are Jew, both of you. And she said, the guy is a cloud chaser, which I believe. I believe that this guy is a cloud chaser. But I also want to say something about Kuna Abid. You said, you said, rest. It's not everything that you're posting online. I want the video of her accident that. That's why... People, uh, vloggers or, or, or influencers, when they travel abroad, uh, when they travel abroad, they make sure that while they are posting their vlog, they finally left the country that they went to. They leave before they post that, oh, I was in Brazil, or I went to Brazil, or I am in Brazil, but they will be in their house posting the picture, and they will put their location as Brazil, because what they took that picture was uh, in Brazil. It's not everything, Cora, that the internet has to know. You are posting every single thing about you. See now, she did the live. She did a particular live in the UK and she was attacked. The lesson that I learned from it is that it's not everything that you post on the internet. Madame Rebe Koko, put yourself for where God keep you. Don't, it's not everything that you'll be sharing. Cora is a person that she has a lot of enemies because of the idiot that she got married to a while back. Now she's she's... She has a lot of haters and they will start coming after her. Now that this one has successfully attacked her, it's like she's giving um, power to the other haters to come and start attacking her. Thank God it was not something serious. What if next time is something serious, Madam Cora? Please, stop sharing your location. I'm not even only talking to her. I'm talking to other influencers out there. If you are going to post a vlog, if you are going to post a, a, a video, leave that location first before you post it. There are creepy people out there who cannot wait to do something bad to you. So, that is why you don't post a location. You don't let people know. That was how, uh, uh, years ago, a Texas influencer, I don't know, I, I've forgotten her name. She, uh, she was a, a um, an OnlyFans model too. Somebody came 
traced her to her house. I don't know how that person did it. The person traced her to her house and the person went, attacked her. The person even killed her and killed himself. That is what happens when those internet creeps know where you live. That is why, Miss Cora, you need to try as much as possible to stop posting everything about your life, especially your location. Your kids are your kids. You shouldn't post about your kids, but if you want to post about your kids, post about them in moderation. But your location is the most important thing that you shouldn't let the internet know. Or else, the creeps out there, they will attack you. Mr. Justin, carry yourself, keep. Who ask you? We don't want to know anything about Cora right now. And thank God to the glory of God, their divorce has been finalized. And she won. Thank God Miss Cora won. I, I am not choosing a side right now. But from where I'm sitting, Justin is the is the witch that doesn't want to let Cora go. Then uh, Justin Dean's fan, tell him to go and sit down. We don't want to know what's happening in Cora's life. They say you are toxic. Every relationship that you enter used to scatter. Go and do self-reflection. Go and reflect on yourself and stop telling us about Cora. We don't want at least we don't want to know from you. the end of today's video. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.